this is Peachy and I would like to share with you the projects that I made for the 12 Days of Christmas Swap at the Cricut Message Board. I will be sending everything using this box that I got from Hobby Lobby. For day one, we were supposed to make or buy a pair of something. So I made my secret sister a pair of shoes using the template from Ellen Hudson. And the paper is from Die Cuts with Abuse Christmas paper back from last year. The ribbons are from Hobby Lobby and I use these shoes to contain the smooch inks that I'm going to give her. For day two, we have to make a container or wrapper for our secret sister's favorite candy using Christmas colors. So I made a couple of purses for her using tags, bags, boxes, and more cartridge from Cricut. I like the bottom part of my purse with feather boa and I placed some prima flowers along the flap and the crystals and the pearls are from Hobby Lobby. This satin ribbons are from Offre and inside this purses are some Toblerone minis. For day three, we were supposed to alter or make or buy a French item. So what I did was I altered this journal that I got from Hobby Lobby and I covered it with paper from K and Company's handmade paper pack. This paper pack coordinates nicely with Graphic 45's Steampunk Debutante. I got this ribbon from Joanne and this lace is from Prima. The flower and this pearl Pearl swirls are also from Prima and I made my own swirls using my Viva Decor Pearl Pen. And when you open this journal, you can see that I made a mini folder that I embellished with some swirls. And my friend might find this little folder handy if she wants to put some coupons or receipts in there. And I lined it with lace. And this paper is from Gardner. And at the back portion of the journal is a die cut using Summer in Paris Cricut cartridge. This was cut at 5 inches. And you can also see here that I used paper from Steampunk Debutante. And this paper tape is from Heidi Swap. This uh, paper is from K & Company. And the, the back portion of the journal is an Eiffel Tower. I just dotted it with some pearls. And I also stamped all over the page some steampunk themed stamps from Seven Gypsies. For day four, we had to make or alter an object that is bird related. So I got my friend this shape album from Michaels and I used K and Company paper for this. I think it's Team Coffee's Blossomwood collection and it also happens to be my friend's favorite paper pack. This crystal with a tassel is from Jolie's Boutique and I just printed this vintage image from the internet. This lollipop flower with a feather is from K and Company. I got this crystal from Hobby Lobby and I made my own flourishes using enamel accents. And you can see here that I made a pocket using cardstock that I just folded and I punched some holes so I could affix some brats. These papers are from Prima and this cardinal is from Jolie's Boutique. I have a couple of die cuts here for my friends journaling. And this journaling tag is from K and Company and it asks the question, what piece of wisdom or advice would you like to pass on? And on the side is a Tim Holtz token which says listen. So you need to listen to the advice of people who are much more wiser than we are. Anyhow, I also placed some flourishes from Prima 
and this lace is from Jolie's Boutique and I have a rub on of a cardinal there. And this is just a trifled page that I made and I placed stickles around this Prima flower that I uh, placed on top of a paper clip. And I made some more swirls using my Viva Decor Pro pen. And for the next page, I folded a piece of cardstock and embellished it using paper lace from K and Company and some crystals from Hobby Lobby. And these spreads are also from Hobby Lobby. And this die cut is from Seven Gypsies. And this is an image that I printed off the internet. And I also have another rub on of the cardinal there just to personalize the page. This is one of my favorite pages in this mini. Because it has the pretty combination of aqua and brown. Flowers, flowers are from Prima and the ribbon is from Offre. And here's another K and Company journaling tag. It asks, who influenced your life the most? So that you could follow your dreams and you have key there because hard work is the key to fulfilling your dreams. And I have more swirls and a metal butterfly for a touch of steampunk. And I just tried to follow the design here using my enamel accent so I would have more flourishes on this page. And I have this photo holder from Seven Gypsies to keep this particular trifle close. And for the last page, I have word soar from Team Holtz Tickets. This frame is from Spellbinders. And again, I have another cardinal and some more swirls. And I just dotted the perimeter of the scallops using liquid pearls. And I like embellishing the back portion of my mini albums as well as my shape albums. This frame, this filigree frame is from Prima. This huge flower is from Prima and same goes for the tiny flower that I had stickled around the petals to make it even more sparkly. I would also like to share the ornaments that I made for my friend. I made this ornament using the Fleur de Lis dies from Spellbinders. Becca Fikai has a tutorial on uh, YouTube, so you might want to check that out because she was the one who uh, originated the tutorial for this. And my friend loves Tilda, so I also made her a Tilda ornament. I like drawing on the face of my Tilda because it freaks some people out that Tilda doesn't have a nose or a mouth, so she has a nose and a mouth this time. I colored her using Copic markers. And these are just Spellbinders dies that I embellished using some crystals and some stickles. I have a Prima flower there and I layered it with another Prima flower. And I put a center brad made of velvet from Hobby Lobby. And this ribbon is actually from Hobby Lobby as well. I also made a Kusuduma ball for her. My friend Danny made this Kusudama ball and I loved it so much and so did my friend. So I said to myself, why not make a Kusudama ball for her? And the paper is from K and Company. For day six, we had to make something that is cooking or food related. So I bought a dollar recipe box from Michael's and I covered it with paper from Domestic Goddess from Graphic 45 and I also put some die cuts from 
crafty secrets to add a little humor to my recipe box it says here complaints to the cook can be hazardous to your health so we should never complain about our food when we're being served and I have some die cuts there from graphic 45 And I just embellished the whole box using those die cuts. And I'm, I think my friend is a domestic goddess. She's just wonderful. And I put a couple of crystals at the top of the box. Because a little bling would not hurt anybody. And I also made the recipe dividers using my McGill punch. And the paper here that I used is from my mind's eye. And I got those dollar recipe cards so she could write her own holiday recipes and put them in this box. For day seven, we had to buy or make three to five beach or pool embellishments. Well, I did a three plus five to a total of eight and I made my friend eight mermaids. Here they are. They're from Sweet November, and I colored them using my copy markers. They are all pretty in their own way, and there is so much personality in each of them. They were hard to part with, but when it comes to this swap, you just have to remember that you're giving it to a friend, and you have the original stamp, and you can always make more. I have the color combinations for everything in my blog. For the skin, I, I used E11, E13, and E15. I have all those numbers for the copy markers there. And for day eight, since the words are made some milking, we had to make a layout in white using different textures. And it was a bit of a challenge for me because I didn't know what type of, paint, of pictures my friend will be using. And I love color, so a monochromatic layout was a challenge. Here. So this is the layout that I made for her. It says Winter Fun. And I covered the chipboard letters with stickles. And I edged it with more stickles. And these are actually stickers from the paper company from Hobby Lobby. These swirls are from Recollection from Michaels. And I made some frames using my Spellbinders dies. And I just embossed them using some Cuddlebug folders. And I have here the coordinating page. I used punches from Martha Stewart and the sparkly paper that I used for both pages are from coordinations and again I used my spellbinders dies and I embossed them using my cuddle bug folders and I just added some stickles and some pearls for more texture and this fiber is actually from an old stash that I got off eBay and I couldn't even recall the seller. It was a while back. But I got enough to last me for several years because I bought it in bulk. And 